I am looking for some loving. Eldridge gods, cosmic horror, stains beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. The only thing protecting all of reality from the final coalescence of insanity and terror is the fact that the unspeakable gods wait dreaming. Their awakening under a line starts heralds the end. Today, the stars are aligned. Okay, so this is me. Dang it, come on already. Same day shipping my butt. Same day shipping my butt. <laughs> Look at all this. Can I click on some of these? Oh. I only have a half hour tops until the stars move out of position. Interesting. I better wash my face to calm down. Oh, this is me? I am sexy right now. <laughs> a year ago, I saw the face of an eldridge being in my dreams. It whispered its name to me. Lee and Lineda. Ever since, I've been obsessed with trying to see it again. I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spend recklessly, but I just can't help myself. There's something I have to do once I see it again. Was that the door? Thank goodness. Oh, it's my package. I spent way too much money on getting this for me to miss my chance. It should say to L, to Lola, not to D. <laughs> the amount of money I've lost to scammers claiming to have the real deal is a little embarrassing, but as of today, as of today, I'll have a genuine Necronomicon, an ancient spellbook containing the dark rituals needed to contact the Elder Gods. Finally, ow. <laughs> That's a weird Necronomicon. I can't pronounce it. Necronomicon? <laughs> Is <laughs> it's heart shaped, huh? What the heck is this? Why is it pink? Isn't this supposed to be like brown and bigger? It's supposed to be an ancient book covered in flesh or something, but this looks like it just came from an office supply store. No, please don't tell me. Scammed again with how much money I spent this time. I thought there'd be a no chance it'd be a fake. Great. No way I'm getting my money back either. The scammer is probably long gone too. <sighs> I need a new hobby, seriously. What a strange scam though. You'd think they'd at least try to go for an authentic look. Did they really think no one would notice that their Book of the Dead is Malibu Pink? Wait, is this symbol on the front embossed? Is this stain made of real leather? The pages look glit in gold too. And this weight. Why'd they make a knockoff out of such high quality materials? Oh, my computer. That's probably just the delivery confirmation message. Your order. Ama it's amazing instead of Amazon. Amazing. Your order. 100% real necromonic con. Not clickbait. Not a scam. Gone. Sexual? <laughs> Delayed. Arriving tomorrow. Wait, what the? My order was delayed. It won't be delivered until tomorrow. Then, what the heck is this book supposed to be? Did it get delivered to me by accident or something? There's no shipping label on the box. Stranger still, this inscription at the bottom, it's really, really, hien, really hien, the unholy language of the eldritch gods. Also, the pages reek of formaldehyde embalming fluid in other words it stinks of death why would someone so cute something so cute has such an insidious aura around it maybe i'll take a look inside am i taking a look in oh i can i can interact all right uh we got some milk all right.
Oh, that was weird. This is a bathroom, right? This is so strange. Oh my god. <laughs> cool. Smooch, smooch. Okay. Let's go back in. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. The calling. Ensure all possible light has been snuffed from the room. In your room, this means draw your curtains, turn off bedside lamp, and turn off headlight. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Off. 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 Okay, closed. All right. Um, in the dark, light red fire candles. They are for your protection. The dark is dangerous. Red fire candle. Okay. Light. All right. Find and put your ritual necklace. I already did. When all is complete, chant. Oh, I can't even read that. Find and put on your ritual necklace. So I should take these off. Right? All right. And chant that. Click and drag from the letter to the end. Oh. No light? No light. Wait. In the dark, light red fire candles. The dark is dangerous. All right, let's try that. It says no light, so I got to do it without that. Wrong candles. Oh my God. What's lit? I had that on the whole wait. I I could have swore it was closed. Mortal. Oh, hi. Oh god, it actually worked. She's here. A beacon of madness is towering over me. An omnipotent, omnipotent and chaotic avatar of world ending calamity. Even with a year of preparation for this moment, I'm frozen in fear. For what purpose have you awoken Laneha the Star Spawn and brought about the end of reality? For love. I can't talk. I can't even breathe. Blinding dread, choking terror, my very sanity is teetering on the pre precipice and looking down. No. I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. I can't perish now. Dark, d d dark one, I ask that you grant my wish. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? No! So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life? No. No, I want to smooch ya. I want to smooch ya! <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh, hubba hubba, uh, yeah. <laughs> I want to smooth. Don't say it again, creep. And how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? Oh, my, my necklace, most likely. I'm mad with lust. Oh my god. <laughs> Send me back. Oh. <laughs> She's like, I don't want any of this. Huh? What you just got here. What about destroying reality as I know it? I'll do it next time. But maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. <laughs> In the meantime, let's smooch. <laughs> but I'll be long dead by then. Exactly. Hey, I went through all the trouble of finding this book. At the least you could do is... Whoa. Whoa, me. <laughs> Calm down. Where'd you get that book? <sighs> I spent lots of money on it. Huh? What? This? I found it outside my door. That Moo. Always trying to set me up with someone. Moo? Who's Moo? 
Moo, who's that? Are they the one who left this funny looking necro necromicon on my doorstep? It's not a necronomicon. Necronomicon. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. It's not? What necronomicon is bright pink, silly? Exactly. My thoughts exactly. God, she's cute. But what's with the sudden personality change? Does she recognize the book? Uh, well, if it's not a necronomicon, what is it? It's a survival guide. Survival guide? For what? For dating me. Oh. I got the survival guide for dating Lynetta. What, really? This thing? Mm-hmm. It's full of rituals that I like. Offerings, spells, and how to protect your sanity while performing them. Oh. Interesting. I struck gold. All the money I spent finally paid off. Wait, what'd she just say? Protect my sanity? I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension. So no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> yep. oh don't make that face. I can make it worth your while. If you understand what I'm getting at. I thought you wanted to leave. Now you want to make it worth my while? You'll let me smooch ya? If you can make it to the end, darling. Oh. Can I? Chicken out, oh, God. Soon, I'll end reality right then and there. Okay. So now, all of reality is dependent upon whether or not I can smooch Lynetta. What, will you spare the world if I win that kiss? No. No. <laughs> you knew what you were getting into when you woke me up, right, darling? Uh, not really. Looks like my only two options are die or die without getting a kiss. Hmm. Uh, if I'm gonna die, let's let's get that kiss. <laughs> well, they say if you've already eaten the poison, you might as well lick the plate. I've never heard that saying before, but okay. <laughs> so if the world is going to end either way. Deal. Excellent. Let's begin the date then. Why don't you start with the invoke the deaths ritual? Okay. Invoke the deaths ritual. So this is done. Next page. Invoke the deaths. Do not perform this ritual alone. Snuff all light from the room. Turn on your sink or shower to make the sound of moving water. When all is complete, chant this. Do not look out your window from now on. Wow, okay. Uh, all light. Change that. Snuff that out. This is still... Alright, alright. This is... This is somewhat like a puzzle game. Oh, hey, mommy. Oh, yeah. Hey. What's with the worried look, darling? I shouldn't be doing these spells alone. The book says so. But you aren't alone. Here. Okay, Lynetta. You know what I mean. These rituals look really bad for my long-term health. Long-term health? The world ends when this date does. What does it matter if your mind is unraveling? Oh, I guess you're right. Nobody is in this world for the long haul anymore. Uh, yeah, yeah. These rituals look bad for my short-term health, too. Well, you better finish them quickly, then. Oh, okay. The quicker I finish them, the the less san sanity I lose. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, do not perform this ritual alone. I'm with her. Snuff all light from the room. I snuffed out the candle too. Turn on your sink to make the sound of moving water. I did. When all is complete, chant. Do not look out your window from now on. I turned off the lights. Who keeps turning my lights on? <laughs> I turned them off before. Leave the lights off. <laughs> oh my god. Stop touching my lights. <laughs> home sweet home. All right, we're in your home. Are we... What did I just do? You brought the Outer Depths to us. Didn't you read the spell's name? Our connection is stronger now. Ah, so everyone outside is going through chaos, right? The 
closer you get to where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. So, I'm destroying the world more? Will I be okay? Just focus on following the book perfectly. You're good to start doing these rituals on your own, right? Uh, if the book says so. No, 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 no. Wait. Why are you leaving me? <laughs> I'm just feeling a little icky from the summoning, so I wanted to use your shower. Do oh. you mind? Oh, go right ahead. Uh, no, not at all. Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. No peeking. Is that an option? Uh, okay. I mean it. Don't peek. Oh, jeez. It might be an option, but it might lead to my death. <laughs> I won't. Mm -hmm. I won't peek. You're sure you won't? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Positive. All right, I'll be back in a jiffy. My fingers were not crossed at all. <laughs> all right. Uh, what's the next one? Perform Abyss Soul Mist. Do not perform this ritual alone. I can't be alone, but I'm alone this time. Snuff all light from the room. Turn on your sink or shower. Oh, this is the wrong wrong spell. Ensure your sink or shower is running to make the sound of moving water. Avoid making eye contact with that which roams the fog. They'll know if you saw them. Turn off your lights before you leave. This one isn't a warning. It'll just help lower your electricity bill and chant. All right. Lights are off. Should I just enter? Should I just enter? We just started the game. And we haven't been playing for that long. I'm going to see what happens. Oh, worth it. Worth it. Okay. Where's the checkpoint at? Me. Okay. All right. All right. So I get at least there's checkpoints. So we'll go back to this we'll go back to that uh skip over this that's not bad at all and sure your sink is running yeah sink is running already so let's just do it go outside oh okay it does say go outside Looks like a totally normal day. Jeez, it looks like Quiet Hill out here with all this fog. Quiet Hill. <laughs> like Silent Hill. <laughs> Is something moving out there? Don't look at it. Oh, darling, you didn't. I love foggy, rainy days by the sea. It's like my favorite weather on the surface world. Oh, I'm glad you like. I'm glad you like. I didn't know you have a house on the water! I didn't know that either. I didn't five minutes ago. In fact, I'm hundreds of kilometers from the coast. Even the wildest of hurricanes would never flood the area like this. What terrible power is this capable of? <sighs> There's something just so romantic about standing on a balcony during a storm. Hmm, really? I'd hate to cut the fun short. But can we go back inside now? What's wrong, darling? Getting chilly? It feels like something's watching me from out there. We can go inside if you like, but it's not like it's any safer in there. <laughs> That's true too, I guess. After all, this page in the book has an unspeakable horror on it. Really? Let's go see it. <laughs> unspeakable horror. Some kinds of monsters gonna jump out at me? You'll see what I mean. Whoa, she's not even letting me know. Let's see what's the next page. Holy smokes. Perform unspeakable horror. So she's in here. Let's just do it, I guess. What the heck? I can't even begin to pronounce this. Yeah, duh. That's why it's an unspeakable horror. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Unspeakable. Get it? As in, cannot be spoken. At least not by humans. Oh, so can you speak it? Wait, 
You can pronounce this. Of course I can. I can pronounce anything. Anything? Anything. Worcestershire sauce. Oh yeah. Then what's this? Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Dang. You are the real deal. Hey, wait a minute. Those testicles are like extra tongues, right? Then your weakness is tongue twisters. Say toy boat ten times fast. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. She did it. Show off. Can you say it for me then? How am I supposed to say it? I can't pronounce this. As of yet, let's... I know there was something out there. I just wanted to see what happens. Bad end. Oh. This ritual will allow you to utter unspeakable incantations. Perform this ritual someplace where gore can be cleaned easily like a bathroom. Wear no robes or amulets. Have a ritual knife on your person. All right. Ritual knife. No robes. Or amulet. Ritual knife. Okay. Bathroom. Eldritch mouth, huh? Maybe I should have considered the spell more carefully before casting it. If there's so much as a single scar, I might actually lose my job. Please don't let me have something freaky on my face. It's my livelihood on the line here. Okay, big breaths. Brace yourself. My hair turned pink? Interesting. I'm... I'm... I'm so cute as hell. <laughs> but I thought I'd get an Eldritch mouth or something. Everything seems pretty much the same. Weird. Hey, Lynetta. Yes? Yes? Ah, you startled me. Hey, you, call me? You, you called me. Ah... Uh, who the heck was that third voice? What are you talking about? That was you! Look! She takes a hold of my hand. Whoa. Hand, hand holding on the first date. Moving fast, but that's okay. No, look at your hand, silly. Really? My hand? My hand's talking. My hand's talking. Oh. What? Get, get it off. Grab, quick, grab the knife from the bedroom. To cut it off. Hurry. Cut it off? But, but it's your hand now. See? Surely enough, it's not a disembodied mouth stuck to my hand. It's a very much embodied mouth, indeed. Huh, huh. Is this really really my hand? What did I do to my hand? Ha <laughs> ha. Are you alright? This is screwed up. I mean, I knew I'd be in harm's way, but permanent body disfiguration this early on? But but I'm not stopping before I get that smooch, no matter what. I just gotta think positive. This isn't so bad. <laughs> I mean, there's gotta be a silver lining to this. <laughs> now I have my pick of what, which mouth to use when I smooch ya. <laughs> no, you don't. Darling, is someone at the door? This is bad. Did I get busted? The sudden shock feels like a splash of cold water that snaps me out snaps me to my senses dang i must what's this i must have done something to give us away was i shouting too loudly about the knife did the neighbors call the cops if someone interrupts my rituals now the stars will fall out of alignment before i can finish dang i even picked the apartment on the top floor to minimize the number of people noticing odd sounds or smells from my room if it's the police, they're going to insist on looking around. I'm not going to be able to sm smooth talk my way out of a demon in my room. Either way, I need to prepare myself now. Who knows how quickly things are going to go south once I answer the door. Hello. Girl voice. Hmm. <laughs> I heard you shouting just now. Come on, let me in. 
Oh, this is weird. <laughs> it's even worse than the police. There's only one person it could be, and at the worst possible time. What do I do? Is it even safe to go outside right now with all the world-bending spells I've been casting? What's that, darling? Um, I, I actually don't know. Uh, probably the mailman. I'll make him leave. Give me a sec. You don't look so good. Maybe I should get the door? Oh, you're gonna murder them? No! I mean, no. I really don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Well, you're a mind flaying goddess. Maybe it'll be too much for someone who wasn't expecting it. Hmm. I guess that's a good point. It is a good point. Wait here, I'll be right back. Mm. <laughs> oh. Miss? Missy? Hey, good to see you. How do you do? I hope it wasn't too forward of me to call upon you in your own private department. Who are you and why are you here? Missy, she's an old money rich girl that suddenly showed up to the club I work at and started showering me with gifts. Oh, she likes me. She likes me. She doesn't quite understand that she's not supposed to contact me outside working hours, but it's hard to complain when she's basically pays my rent. In fact, she's pretty much the only reason I can afford to buy all these Eldridge paraphernalia. So I'm not even using my own money. I'm using someone else's money. That is crazy. But best of all, she's smoking hot. Rawr. <laughs> if I may be so bold, I... Well, I have something special to give you. May I come in? Oh. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, heck yes. Right this... Wait. Mm, wait. Lynetta is inside. I got so caught up in the moment, I almost forgot. Jeez, I'm just a perv in this game. <laughs> I'm trying to date this this Eldridge god. And then, like, the moment she shows up, oh, yeah, come inside. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Actually, now's not a good time. Think you could just give me, give it to me out here? Uh, it's, it's not the kind of present I can give you out in the open. Oh, my goodness. What are you trying to give me? A present that has to be given in private? Oh, man, what could it be? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Wait, I almost lost sight of things again. If Lynetta and Missy meet, I'm toast. Can, can I really not help myself with my life on the line here? Say something, idiot. <laughs> you trash. Oh, well, I can't get away right now. How about we meet up after work? I can't go out after dark. What? Okay. Right. I forgot. Her weird curfew. Why can't we just go inside? I really want to give you your present now. Interesting. Darling, what's taking you so Oh long? my god. You. Why did you do that? Is Lenetta coming to the door? I can hear her footsteps. Huh? Who is that? You have company over? Oh my god. That's just the mailman. <laughs> oh my god, I say the person inside is the mailman now. Inside your apartment? Yes. I invite the mailman in. Shoot. I got my lame excuses mixed up. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Uh oh. What happened? Did I slam the door in Missy's face? That's awesome. Oh man, she's pissed. Sorry, Missy. This is the only way I survived this. What's going on, darling? Oh my god, she's pissed off too. Uh turns out it was one of those uh door-to-door -to -door salesmen. They can be really pushy, you know. Haha. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want any. <laughs> Want me to make them go away? Oh my god! <laughs> this is escalating way too quickly. No, no, I got this. You just have to be persistent. Eventually, they give up. Did she finally give up? She did. I better smooth things over with her later before she tries anything crazy. Especially now that she knows where I live. 
Better hurry through these rituals before there's more interruptions. Alright, so now that I have... Do not attempt this ritual without performing the calling and invoke the deaths. Pro proceed in total darkness, no lights, no candles. Ensure his image appears in no way in a poster. Can I say this now? <laughs> uh, uh, cool. That was awesome. Got a secret right there. All right, metamorphosis. All right, I did that. I did that. Proceeded. No total. Okay, continue next page. Wear ceremonial robe and necklace. Necklace. Robe. Wear a mask or headpiece to distort your features. Headpiece. Have a knife on your person. Always remember the second step on the previous page. I got the knife already, right? Yeah. When complete, then chant. What's the second step? Total darkness. All right. Let's just do this one more time. Everything is off right now, right? Okay. Here we go. Hello, handsome. What just happened? My hand chain? Did I transform? I got. Oh yeah. You wanna tentacles? Touch. And I thought you were cute for a human before. Now you're totally my type. Really? I need to look at the mirror. Why is there blood right here? I'm trying to respond, but no sound is coming out of my mouth. Even when I try to shout as loud as I can, I can't even manage a whisper. Something is not right. What happened to me? That's no longer a mask. That's my face now. Oh, I am looking, I'm looking mighty fine right now. Do I, oh, perform, prepare offering. Oh my God. What just happened? Perform, prepare offering. I had to rip the tentacles off. Break up. Darling, what are you looking at? I wasn't trying to break up. Uh nothing, huh? You were looking at nothing? Why are you so angry at me? Is that the truth? Why are you angry? Hmm. <laughs> Did I scare you, darling? Kinda. <gasps> I know what page you were on. Great. I didn't go there on purpose. It was just the next page. And if I see you trying to cast that spell about nothing, you won't get past the second word. Really? Cool. The ritual will sever your connection, restore your sanity, and return you to reality in whatever state it is in. Let the room be well lit. Ensure the symbol is nearby. Chant three times. I don't think I want to chant that one. I want to do the other one. I'm trying to date her. Illuminate the room to your comfort. Collect necessary ingredients from cold storage. Ensure the symbol is present nearby and then chant this. So, yeah, let's prepare offering, I guess. Which symbol? That star looking one? That's not it. Was it it? Was that it? It was. Okay. 
Got the cold storage. Illuminate the room to your comfort. Yeah, that's that's illuminated. Oh my god, too fast? Too fast. What is going on? Okay, I That already smells delicious, darling. What smells delicious? What am I doing? All it needs is a little something and it'll be perfect. What do you what are you talking about? Hmm. I'm going to take a short walk outside while you finish. See you in a few, love. Okay. All right. Reach the oblivion. Wear a ceremonial robe. Have the knife on you. Ensure the symbols nearby. Have another life form on your person. Another life form on my person. The eye symbol. All right. I think I have the knife and the robe on. Cool. Objective survive. Her name, her name, her name, her name, her name, her name, her name. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is going on? Escape reality. If you can't read this, all reality is doomed. Once you start this ritual, complete all three pages quickly. You will be vulnerable until you finish. Do not open any blinds, windows, or doors. Do not turn on any lights. Snuff any existing lights or you will attract their attention. Ensure this symbol is nearby. Okay. Snuff that light off. Uh, that symbol. What there? That's already on. That's already on. Don't open any doors. That's closed. All right, let's start. Oh my God. What now? She is coming and sure this symbol is nearby. All right, and ensure this symbol is re 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 uh, what? Which one? That one. Oh my goodness! Darling, what's wrong? You're pale as a sheet. <laughs> I can tell by the look on your face. You caught a glimpse of the real world now that I'm waking up. This is terrifying! Guess you aren't as sane as you thought, huh, darling? No. Oh, sweetie. Don't worry about reality. It doesn't have anything to do with you anymore. Okay. Though, I should tell you, everything you saw and heard, it's still there. What you saw coming through your window is still coming through. Very soon, it'll be impossible to deny its presence. And even escaping reality won't protect you. Oh my god, so everything is still happening. If you like, I could move you to the front of the line and... And you painlessly myself. As thanks for waking me up. Uh... Don't hear their screams anymore. Or feel that chill up your spine where that tentacle is already touching. Oh. Or maybe you'd prefer to be saved for last. Have the whole doomed world all for yourself for a while. Though the things you'd see if you lingered. Being destroyed first or last? Which would you prefer? My darling. <laughs> I get to choose? I get to choose. Eh. Cool. Alright. 
Dark communion. Do not attempt this ritual without performing. Prepare offering. Reach into oblivion. Let the room be well lit. Wear no robe or necklace. Have the offering on your person. Interesting. No robe. No necklace. Well lit. Well lit. Does that include? That does not include the window. That does not include the window. Oh gosh. It's well lit. So dark communion have this symbol right here and chant three times assertively. All right. And I have the stuff on me, right? Oh. Wait, this is breakup. Why am I on breakup? I don't want breakup. Nothing is just your imagination. All right, let's do this. Uh, we got to remove this and this. The room's well lit and we have the offering. So yeah. That's like bleeding more and more. Offerings like this forever. Well, my devoted darling, there is only one last spell to perform. Pledging yourself to me. Take heart. Your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all of time. Okay. The final words ever spoken by humankind will come from your very mouth and echo into oblivion. Really? The privilege is yours alone. I may be inexperienced with human emotions, but even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Yeah, I, yeah. All the time you need to make peace with the end. I'm going to take a short nap before I wake up for good. Could you oh. get the lights for me, darling? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Perform one last ritual. The final pledge. Have a ritual knife on your person and chant this five times. There is a breakup one and she's sleeping. So this one says, the room well lit. She's sleeping, so. Let's break up. Let's break up. Stop messing up! Did it work? My face and hands are back to normal. Did I really do it? Darling! Why? She's so cute! Why did you break our connection? No. I'm cut off from the rest of me! Oh! How could you? Why did you? Why did you break my heart? I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! <laughs> it was a good opportunity! I did what I had to do. Sorry, darling. World's not ending today. I think we should see other people. But why? Was I not good enough? Did you have a bad time on our date? It was an interesting date, for sure. Is there... Is there another woman? I guess there is. Missy, right? <laughs> no, none of that. It was pretty much Jess that you were going to end all reality. And Nope. That's it. That's the deal breaker. What? But you woke me up in the first place! I know. And you were adorable. And you still are. You're really adorable. Look at that. Look at that shadow. <laughs> Come on. We both know I got more than I bargained for. <laughs> oh, darling. You realize I still have control here, right? Uh, I don't realize that. I still see the blood there. And I do recall that reality is still doomed. If you want to smooch my real form, you have no choice but to do the spells over. Yep. I know that. A squid is fine, too. Wait, what? Wait, what? 
Am I smooching the squid? Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. The good ending. I got it. I got good enough end. The good enough end. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, that was great. And I do love true endings achieved. I do love that. The fact that. Darling, what's wrong? No. Um, prepare offering. I got the offering. Uh, no robe, no necklace. And the room's well lit. Right? It said lit, right? Yeah, so let's do it. Let's see what this other ending is. You're sleeping now. You are sleeping. Oh my god. I can't move in a straight line. Holy smokes. All right. Oh my god. It's done. It's done. Last ritual. You did wonderfully. Did I? Did I? What's going to happen now? I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date to end. Can I get that smooch? That look on your face. Darling, I had a wonderful date with you. And that's because of you. So why destroy me? In all of reality, why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking, right? Yeah, I would wish that, right? Oh, my sweet mortal darling. I'm not doing this out of malice. Then why are you doing this? You've had good dreams before, right? Yes. Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? No. No. It just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. So you're saying the world I live in is not reality? I love humans. And I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. Okay. Don't think I forgot about my promise to you. You're up, my darling. Ooh, you've earned it. Oh. Is she eating my face? What's going on here? Oh, okay. I'm getting kissed. Yeah, I'm definitely getting kissed. Awake end. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Holy smokes. <laughs> oh. And I did all of them, right? I did everything? I, I found all of them. Oh, now I got chapter two. King and yellow approaches. True endings achieved. Six endings for this one. Holy smokes. Sucker for love. First date. Well, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. First date was amazing. Two endings. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was really good. That was really, really good. Um, Thank you so much for joining me, guys. And no matter what your time zone may be, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening. It's so amazing we were able to date Cthulhu. Bye-bye.